Uh, I think the the prequel to Oscar So White is Hollywood So White. And I think our study makes it really clear. Hollywood is a straight white boys club. And we see this uh, across media. Well, I think that if you look from CEO all the way down to speaking character, which is what our study does, we see a predominant pattern. Where the power is, that's where you find men. And on screen, it's typically white men. And so I think the gatekeepers, the decision makers, the people that get to green light and decide who to hire behind the camera, Well, that's a hard one to answer. The audience is cultivated from a very young age to a tilted view of the universe, right? What they see in the media does not represent what, what happens in this country. 50% uh, of the individuals in this country are women, 38% are from underrepresented groups. That's not what you see on TV. So they're being uh, exposed to something very skewed. So often the audience sometimes isn't even aware of these disparities. At least they're not when I teach in my classroom and I tell my students that only 30% of speaking characters in film are women, they're often very surprised. <laughs> Well, I think that there's a reluctance to look at these box office um, blockbusters and make changes, right? This is a risk-averse industry, and they, they do what is comfortable and what is safe because there's such a high price point on the line. But when you start looking down the list year after year, whether it's Hunger Games or Pitch Perfect or um, Fast and Furious, we see that inclusion is performing at the box office and we need more sophisticated metrics to be able to say just how much and under what conditions and that data we still don't have a real good grasp of but hopefully it's forthcoming. The investigation looked across film, television, and digital content, 414 stories. It was all the, the movies in each of the company slates provided that they made a certain box office domestically. Uh, all of the primetime shows across the over 30 channels in our sample, all first-run content was evaluated. We did not look at reality shows. Uh, we did not look at syndicated shows. So this is current content um, being produced and distributed on these major popular channels. It's a celebration of art and of filmmaking and that these are caricatures, uh, you know, not, not portraits. Uh, and they rely but I think largely there is a pipeline problem. Um, and, and the Oscars are at the end of that pipeline. And what is needed we need to see uh, directors uh, from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups being hired, women being hired behind the camera, and a value placed on inclusive stories. And what we're seeing now with um, the, the, the backlash to the Oscars is really a reflection of people saying enough, enough. But the whole system has to change so that the end point can look different as well. <laughs> We're seeing a complete erasure of some groups uh, in the sample of content that we evaluated. Over 50 of the stories didn't feature one Asian or Asian American speaking character. Over 50%, over 20% didn't fi feature one black or African American speaking character. Only seven characters were transgendered across 11,306. So what we're seeing from our previous work into a broader domain of content is this still invisibility in the reluctance towards inclusion in terms of proportional representation.